ये रिवर्स शेप में दाए हुए हेयर विद द न्यू एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन्स लैब एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ द डीसी कंपाउंड मोटर व्हाट इज द कंपाउंड मोटर कंपाउंड मोटर इज दैट इन व्हिच वी आर यूजिंग द टू वाइंडिंग्स द आर्मेचर वाइंडिंग एंड द फील्ड वाइंडिंग एंड वन इज कनेक्टेड इन पैरेलल विद द आर्मेचर एंड वन इज कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज विद द आर्मेचर इफ बोथ वाइंडिंग्स आर कनेक्टेड विद द मोटर ऑब्वियसली इट इज कॉल्ड द कंपाउंड मोटर सो इन टुडेज एक्सपेरिमेंट वी हैव चोजन द मेथड ऑफ द Uh, compound motor is that long chain compound motor so what is a long chain compound motor in this uh, method or in this uh, long chain compound motor uh, the armature winding is con is connected in series with the series field winding and the shunt field winding is connected in shunt or parallel with both series combination of the armature and the series field winding and the uh, load uh, and the your supply voltage is connected with the series and the armature winding of the Uh, your motor okay now uh, before doing this experiment let uh, we have to see the circuit diagram and that will be implemented on the trainer that what circuit diagram shows or represents okay so in this experiment we have to perform this type of the long shunt compound uh, long shunt compound uh, motor in which we have a combination is that your uh, series field winding is connected is directly connected with the armature winding and the shunt field winding is connected in shunt across the series field winding and the armature winding so pull out the wires and we have to implement the connection diagram on the trailer and see or observe the results the armature voltage the field current and also the armature current of the machine okay so we are using the three windings the armature winding series winding and the shunt winding okay so before doing this so we have to uh, take the circuit diagram okay the shunt field winding okay is directly connected to this and this will be done and what about that your shunt field winding and the armature winding is connected in shunt okay and and this negative of current armature terminal is connected with the negative of the supply okay now armature winding is connected in series with the series field winding so your series field winding is connected with this so it will give us the armature current and also the series field current okay the connection has been done and now we are going to connect the load with the motor okay. so this is the load which we are going to connect with this compound motor and now and also uh, we have connect the voltmeter across the armature winding in parallel that give us the armature voltage okay so this give us the armature voltage and this give us the armature current and the series field current because the series field winding and the armature winding are both are connected in series and this will give us the shunt field current because in this type of the experiment the shunt field winding is correct uh, connected in parallel with the series combination of the armature winding and the series field winding so let's start the trailer and observe the armature voltage field current and also the armature current which is to be drawn by the motor so as you can see as you can see this is our armature voltage which is uh, uh, to be produced in the armature and this is also the back emf which is produced in the armature because what is the back emf the back emf is the opposition of the voltage applied voltage and the voltage which is produced in the armature of the dc motor and that uh, uh, opposes the applied voltage so according to the lenz's law the direction of the induced emf is opposite that cause which is given to produce it so this type of the back emf or the counter emf which is produced in the armature is in the case of the dc motors so this shows our field current 
0.84 ampere and this shows our armature current armature current is that uh, 0.62 and this is the same current of the series field winding current and also the armature winding current and this one is the uh, shunt field current which is the shunt field winding current that divides into the two parts the load current uh, your supply current is divided into two parts number one current is that the curve current of the armature and the series field winding current and second one current is that your shield shunt field winding current and uh, both are current both we, uh, currents we have observed and uh, through our ammeters and this will give us the reading of the armature voltage which is produced in the armature so this was the experiment of the dc compound motor uh, in which we have done the scheme of the uh, long shunt compound motor in which the armature winding and the series field winding both are connected in series and what happened the shunt field winding is connected in parallel across the series combination of the armature winding and the series field winding and that windings are connected with the supply and DC supply is given to that motor and motor will uh, convert the electrical energy into the mechanical energy so at the last uh, this was the experiment and i hope that today uh, today's experiment is very informative uh, experiment of the electrical machines lab and at the last please don't forget to subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel hit the bell icon button for more informative videos and uh, interesting videos related to the electrical engineering thank you